Welcome back to the Van vs. Club. I'm your host, Timo Wunderlich. Let's get right into it with VIC readings, the form where we look at the best of the best value investment recommendations by the best of the best value investors out there. Today, we have BioRad Laboratories, Inc., ticker is BIO, BIO. Uh, present and point of filing is $480. Let's get right into it. Let me first say this is not a recommendation, not advice. Please do your own diligence before investing into anything. Elevator pitch. BioRed Bio is a leading provider of healthcare consumables and equipment uh, equipment used for research and medical testing. The business is 70% recurring revenue base and has a number one or number two market share positions in 80% of its business. Additionally, Bio owns one third of German listed bioprocessing company Saturius SRT. And SRT is a leading provider, a leading provider of uh, consumables and equipment used for drug manufacturing with 70% recurring revenue. Bio is a long because it trades at a 22x NTM PE for recession resilient business that will likely cager revenue at 12% and EPS at 20%. Core revenue growth will likely accelerate over the next one to three years, driven by their market leadership in the high-growth digital PCR market. An upgraded management team will likely unlock 300 to 400 basis points of margin expansion from mainly uh, operational efficiencies. At a 24x EPE exit multiple, which is arguably conservative versus the comps on a growth-adjusted basis, there's 60% upside over the next two years. Business Summary Bio is a leading provider of healthcare consumables and equipment used for research and medical testing with a 70% recurring revenue base and a number one to number two market share in 80% of its business. Their geographic sales mix is 42% Americas, 33% EMEA, and 25% APAC. They have 15,000 customers with no customer representing more than 2% of revenue. Their customer and market mix is diversified with 34% hospital labs, 21% academic slash government, 15% biopharma, 11% reference lab, 10% transfusion labs, and 9% applied. Bio is predominantly comprised of two segments. Number one, the life sciences segment, which represents 47% of revenue, which notably is the faster growing segment and has the highest incremental margins within the company. Number two, the clinical diagnostic segment, which represents 53% of revenue. SRT is the leading provider of healthcare consumables and equipment used for drug manufacturing and lab research. The company is split into two divisions. Number one, bioprocess solutions, BPS, uh, 80% of EBITDA. And number two, lab and products and services, LPS, uh, 20% of EBITDA. The larger BPS segment provides the equipment and single-use consumables used in drug production and is a 75% recurring revenue business with a strong growth profile. The company is a top three provider, has been gaining share and largely sells to pharma slash outsourced manufacturing customers with no single customer representing more than 5% of revenue. The smaller LPS segment sells premium high-value-added lab products used in clinical research primarily across the life sciences, 55%, chemicals, 20%, food and beverage, 50% sectors. SRT is a recession-resilient business that will grow revenues at 10 to 20% for the foreseeable future as a result of its end-market exposure to the growth of life sciences, R&D spend, and its strong position in single-use pharma drug development equipment. The adoption of single-use SRT's main product is expected to go from 40% to 70, 75% plus over time due to significant cost and time-to-market advantages versus legacy methods. Additionally, SRT is specialized specced into manufacturing facilities for up to 10 to 20 years, which creates significant regulatory and financial switching costs and uh, results in highly visible growth. Key thesis points. Accelerating revenue growth. Bio has accelerated from an MSD grower to HSD grower, driven by a revenue mix shift to higher growth products. Their end markets continue to grow 5 to 6%, driven by the growth of pharma, R&D, and life sciences, 6 to 8% market growth. And this spend of clinical diagnostics, 3 to 4% market growth. Digital PCR is Bio's most important growth driver and represents 15% of Bio sales and 3 to 4 percentage points of total Bio revenue growth at accredited gross margins. Our regular channel checks on digital PCR suggest that the multi year growth outlook for the market remains robust and that Bio remains strong and the number one in the market. 
Substantial margin expansion opportunity. Bio is a company that historically has had great products and operated in attractive end markets, but that was undermanaged due to a lack of urgency to improve operations by the controlling family. A few years ago, the son of the founder and current CEO started to focus on improving operations, global ERP system, new management team. Bio has been on a multi-year journey to optimize their margin structure more in line with peers that dates back to the late 2010s. They've made substantial progress to date, but I believe that there's additional low-hanging fruit that will result in 300 to 400 basis points of margin expansion through 2025. Note that margins were temporarily elevated in 2020 and 2021 due to high margin COVID revenue. Top-down cost analysis of bio versus peer set suggests uh, could eventually reach EBIT margins in the high 20s versus our 2025 estimate of 23% once fully optimized. Key risks. Controlled business. Chairman slash CEO Norman Schwartz controls bio. He has a significant economic interest in bio and has taken substantial steps to unlock shareholder value over the last few years. Exposure to farmer R&D spend. R&D spend is very resilient in the last area for cost cutting. Drastic drug pricing or regulatory or regulation would likely slow farmer R&D spend. SRT valuation. Bio owns one third of SRT. Volatility, volatility in SRT's stock price could lead to stock volatility in the bio stock price. Catalysts. Earning speed. Mid sized MA. Sales and earnings acceleration. Thank you very much uh, for tuning in. See you next time. Please write down in the comments uh, below what you think of this idea.